Hey, thanks for reaching out on Facebook. As you can see here, I pulled up pressure washing in Salt Lake City and found some of the top competition. You're not showing up in the map pack in Salt Lake City, at least not there in the top three. But I pulled up a couple of the top competitors in the area just because we're going to show off their site, kind of give you some pointers on what they're doing and how you can outrank them. You know, if we go back over here and look, there's three things that I like to go over. Content, citations, and backlinks. And we'll get into what all three of those are. But when it comes to your content, Google is really looking for about 1,500 words on this home page and about 500 to 750 on the back service pages. So you can see these guys are super short on content. The site's not laid out terrible or anything, but they're just super short on the content. Um, content is important so you can get those keywords organically in the content on your page. That is the fastest, easiest way for Google to find them. It's not the only way to get found for keywords, but it is one of the fastest. You know, here's one of the other sites that I found. Um, you know, a little bit more content here, but they're still lacking quite a bit. Not a lot here on this home page for people to look at. So if we go into Arifs, which is one of the paid tools that we have, you know, these guys are showing up for 12 keywords right now. Um, pressure washing Utah. Um, you know, that's what I call a generic keyword. It says what you do and where you do it. I like to see if we can get more city specific, but I look, there's not a whole lot showing up as far as search volume goes. But realistically, that's probably the only, you know, unless you're going to get into truck washes, that's about the only keyword they've got that I would even consider using. And it's getting 30 searches a month and they're in the second position. So they're getting about five visits a month at their site for that. You know, if we go over here and look at the other one, they're showing up for 25 keywords. Pressure washing Utah again, they're in the fifth position. Um, they've got that also in several of their back pages here. So, kind of looking, like I said, there's not a ton of search volume where, you know, right there where you're at. You know, they've got Salt Lake City cleanup, but I don't know that that's really got anything to do with you. So, probably your best keyword to be found for is this pressure washing Utah. Um, one of the other things would be the citations. Let me get back over to here. Citations are what help you get into this map pack. Um, you've got to Google My Business page. I already saw that. It looks great. But you do want to get your site up and get that completely filled out. You know, so you'll have the you know the website here, the directions, stuff like that. You do want to get that onto that page. But citations are a big factor to getting into this map pack. What a citation is, it's your business name, address, and phone number listed in multiple directories across the internet. There's Yellow Pages, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Merchant Circle. There's literally hundreds of them out there. Some of the other factors are going to be your star rating, how many reviews you have, like how many pictures you have on your Google My Business page, whether or not those pictures are named properly. You know, there are a lot of other little factors in there when it comes to optimizing your Google My Business page, but citations are one of the big ones. The third thing I talked about was your backlinks. These guys have 64 backlinks, and what a backlink is is any other website that has a link back to their website. So some of your citations will give you backlinks. There's blog commenting that you can do. There's lots of ways to get backlinks. But it's kind of a popularity contest. The more backlinks you have, the more popular Google thinks you are, and the more authority they're going to give you. On the flip side of that, not all backlinks are created equal. You do want to make sure not to get into the spammy type of backlinks because those can actually ding your page. But if we go back over here, you know, the other guy, he's got 308 backlinks. So we can go in here and see what he's got, where he's getting his backlinks from. As you can see, he's getting several backlinks from Yellow Pages. But we can go in and do what I call the copycat method. We can go through here, check out these places that he's getting his backlinks from, make sure they do have the type of power and the relevance that we want, and then try to get you back or backlinks on those same pages. You know, I call it the copycat method. Copycat the guy that's got the most, and then go out and find some more on our own to beat this guy at his own game. But that is my quick overview for you. One more thing that I don't normally put in here that I did pull up. You know, if we're looking specifically in Salt Lake City, you know, the search volume for most of these keywords is 0 to 10. And this tool is not 100% accurate, so there may be more people looking. But you've got Salt Lake City pressure washing, power washing Salt Lake City, 
Salt Lake City power washers. So there are some other keywords in there. Um, I can go in here with this tool and you know kind of do the same thing with the pressure washing and just see what other options that we have, you know, as far as some of your keyword research. You know, you don't really want parts and sales. Um, pressure washing Salt Lake City might be a good one to put in there if that you want to stay in that area. But I think some of those that we looked at, the other guys have, you know, as far as just say Utah might be the best way to go. Because like I said, there's not a ton of search volume showing up. But, you know, once you get that site up and running, the other options would be Google Ads or Facebook Ads. And we can also help you with those if you're interested. But, you know, check it out. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.